Hey there, my name is Walter Dumpy. I'm the executive chef at Boston University. Together with Sergeant Choice, I've created a dish for you. It's herb crusted cod and served over cracked wheat berry salad with edamame and roasted corn. To begin, we're gonna start with the salad first. I have some fresh Spanish olive oil. I'm gonna add it to a pan over medium high heat. So right there is some Vidalia onions. Immediately following, we're gonna add some brumois of red bell pepper. Nice colorful red. Next I have some shelled edamame. You can usually find these in the grocery store on, in the frozen food section. Edamame is just great raw, so you don't have to give a lot to it. Now I've taken some fresh corn, tossed it in oil, a touch of salt and pepper, went into the oven, let it roast for about 8-10 minutes. The whole idea about these dishes and behind Sergeant's Choice is to taste the food. You know, we want to create delicious and nutritious meals that actually taste good. We're not masking it with a ton of cream and other fats, you know. Then we're going to introduce some asparagus. What I've done is I've taken the asparagus and I've quickly blanched it in boiling water. And I shocked it in ice water. It stops the cooking process. And then quickly diced it on the bias about one inch lengths. Now doing this does two things. It breaks it down a little bit initially and it makes the cooking process in the second stage a lot easier. Next I'm going to introduce cracked wheat berries. The wheat berries are a grain that has very strong outer fiber. What you want to do is cover the wheat berries entirely in cool water, bring it to a simmer. Once it comes to a simmer, just maintain that simmer for about an hour and a half. You might have to add more water periodically. When you eat it, you want it to be like just barely crisp to the tooth. Now since the asparagus and the wheat berries have already been cooked through, all we're really doing is trying to knock off the chill and get a little heat into it. I have the juice of two oranges here. I'm going to add about the juice of one to this. But I'm going to reserve this juice for a little bit later, you'll see. And I'm using heirloom cherry tomatoes. I just love the colors. They're all different in flavor. By making this a light dish, you're going to taste the flavors in each individual tomato. I'm just going to give a tiny pinch of salt and pepper. I've got some Florida cell of sea salt. You can use kosher salt or regular table salt, but I really prefer Florida cell. It's the best sea salt. Finish it with the chive. You want to add the chive last because you don't want it to discolor that much. You want to be able to taste it, and you also want the visual pop of the bright green in there. We're just going to move that to the side, and we're going to move on to the cod. First thing we want to do with the cod is we want to lightly season it with just a little more Florida cell. Just a little. I mean, this thing has been swimming around the ocean all its life. It should have a little salt on it, right? A little ground black pepper. I've got flat leaf parsley, I've got tarragon, and I've got cilantro. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly blend all three of them right now so that I have a nice even herb mixture. Sprinkle some herbs on somewhat evenly. Now what I have here is a whole wheat white flour. I'm gonna sift it through our fingers very lightly and just get a little dusting on the fish. It'll help hold on the herbs, but it also adds to the browning effect when we introduce it to the pan. It's all right to hit it with a little salt pepper on this side too, so it's evenly seasoned. I'm gonna let this go for about a minute or so, so we get a nice light brown on one side. Once we get the brown going, we'll flip it over. We're gonna keep it moving again. See, we just got a nice light brown color at this point. I'm gonna add the orange juice. It's gonna loosen up any of the product at the bottom. It's also gonna impart a little bit of flavor into the meat. Well, that's cooking through. We're gonna begin plating. Right in the center of the plate, just add the warm salad. It's really pretty, isn't it? Fish is cooked through. You can tell by the way it's flaking apart. Just place one piece right over the top. Should be plenty of flavor in there. What I have here is a mixture of micro herbs. This one happens to be chervil, bull's blood, and red amaranth. So there you are. Herb seared cod over cracked wheat berry salad with edamame, heirloom tomatoes, and roasted corn. It's delicious and nutritious. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.